How's it going YouTube? Chris here, my home theater. Got a brand new video for you this morning. In this video, we're going to show um, me hooking up the, the new Anthem AVM90. I did that actually, it's been, it's been over, uh, over a week ago. And I'll show you a little bit about the calibration that Mr. Brandon did. And we're gonna talk about some performance and some demos that I've done on this thing over the past week. Uh, and just absolutely impressed uh, with everything that I've seen with this Anthem. Uh, it bar, it's bar none the best processor that I've ever had my hands on. And uh, I've only had, you know, I've had a few um, over the years. Uh, but so far, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know how it can get any better to be honest with you. So in this video, we'll, we'll talk about uh, some things and without further ado, we will show you uh, the time lapse of the unhooking of the XMC2 and the hookup of the ABM90. All right, so as you can see, I'm in a really big hurry to uh, get this thing unhooked and hooked up. Uh, it was pretty straightforward. I uh, didn't have uh, any problems hooking this unit up. Um, I mean, everything's labeled. So it all just, you know, goes pretty smoothly. Now, as you'll see, after I get done with this, um, cable management ain't looking too swift right now. But, you know, when you got it, uh, everything, all the cables run for one unit and you put another unit in. You know, it's not going to be exactly the way it needs to be, as you can see right here. But, you know, when you test an equipment, you got to, uh, you know, rearrange your rack or just try to make uh, do with what you got. So, and that's what I've had to do uh, with changing out the units like I have. Um, so, we're going to look at the uh, calibration that Mr. Brandon performed. And as you can see here, everything is set up, and uh, he's already in uh, my computer, my laptop, and he is uh, going to town now, uh, so to speak. And uh, we'll just give you a little sneak peek at um, what he does, and uh, if you need calibration, definitely uh, hit him up. So... Uh, to do, <clears throat> to actually to run the sweeps, um, room, room EQ wizard uh, at first and, you know, making sure that uh, my slopes on my sub is still correctly, we use the uh, U mic. But to actually run ARC, I don't know if you saw um, the actual uh, anthem uh, or the ARC mic, I should say. Uh, it was actually laying down there, uh, ready to go. And to run ARC, we have to use the the ARC mic, and um, the uh, the Anthem comes with a extremely nice mic and a very very big uh, uh, actual full size um, uh, mic stand. Now the mic stand that you see uh, in here is is the one that I bought, and it, it's mine. So I haven't taken the uh, one that. Uh, Anthem sends widget, it's still in the box, but uh, I'm uh, now I did because I knew you know you have to you, you make a, an appointment with uh, Brandon, and I did out of the box. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys, out of the box, uh, you know, he, until he done the manual caliber, until he'd run arc. I went in, set the distances on the speakers, set the speaker size, uh, crossovers. I mean, I just, I ran a manual calibration and uh, I posted on Facebook, you know, how good it sounded. And, uh, and of course, uh, a big YouTuber, I will not call his name, manual calibration. Woo! -hoo! I really didn't know how to take that if, uh, if he meant that as you don't know what the heck you're doing or whatever. And, uh, and at that point, uh, Mr. Brandon had already run calibration, had already run arc. Uh, and guys, 
it's it's like this. This this is how I feel about the whole situation. I could probably sit down. Well, I know I can. I could sit down and I could figure this thing out. I could figure Ark out. I could run direct live. I could do all this. But why should I do it and and when Mr. Brandon, this is what he does for a living. And he knows every aspect, everything. Let me let me pause for a second. Look at that. Look at my subline, guys. That's pretty freaking awesome. So, I mean, this is what Mr. Brandon does. I ain't going to say it's all he does for a living. But, I mean, he does this and he's good at it. So, if there's something that somebody else can do better, guess what I'm going to do? I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get somebody else to do it, and uh, but I mean I don't understand some people. They just I mean it is what it is. I mean I, I let stuff bother me sometimes, and uh, but it is what it is. So he's running arc, and he's I mean there's just several, there was just you know you you move your mic stand to several different locations. I don't, I, don't, uh, I guess three or four locations and. And everything, and he just absolutely nailed the calibration as he does. Um, but in comparisons to Dirac and Arc, uh, guys, I think this uh, this uh, Arc is pretty cool. Um, uh, the difference in the sound quality from the Arkham. Uh, Oh, was it the Arkham AVR 31 versus the Anthem AVM 90? Uh, there ain't no comparison. The Anthem is a is a mind blowing uh, sonic wonderland. I don't I don't know the correct way to say these things, but I I, I swear, um, an arc made a huge difference. Now, when I when I did my little manual calibration, I just wanted to be able to listen to it in a roundabout way until Mr. Brandon could do the calibration. And that's why I did that. And it sounded good. So we're going to do some demos now. And All right, guys. So I knew I said we were going to be doing some demos. Uh, so let me tell you what happened. I shot a bunch of uh, demos over the past uh, week or so, a bunch of different movie scenes that I like to test my equipment and test everything with, and I uploaded them to my program, and then I did a voiceover so there was no uh, sound of the movie whatsoever. It was just me talking about the scenes, and uh, I don't know, I probably did four or five different movies, and I uploaded everything to YouTube yesterday, and as I was going to town, I got a email from uh, YouTube Creative Studios, and of course I got hit with a copyright. So, and I even mentioned it a few times, even in my talking, I said, I hope I don't get hit with a copyright, I hope I don't get hit with a copyright, but I didn't think I would, but I did, so I deleted the video. So, what you see in the beginning of this video is everything that I've shot uh, a week or two ago, and what you're seeing now I'm shooting today. So I got that out of the way. Uh, let me talk a little bit about uh, this processor. This processor is one of the best processors that I've ever had my hands on, that I've ever heard. Uh, for the price range of $7,500, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't see how it can get any better. Uh, I know a bunch of people that has anthems and i've heard some anthems uh and they do sound tremendous a buddy of mine has got a, a, a older receiver uh, i mean it looks basically like this i think uh and it, and his system is phenomenal i mean he has bmw speakers he's got a jtr captivator and he's got an anthem using emotiv amps and his system is is amazing uh i've got a couple of friends that's got the avm 70s i haven't heard them but uh, I mean, I know Anthem is good, but I didn't know they were this good. Uh, this uh, AVM90 
is I had high expectations because people kept requesting, you, you get an anthem, get an AVM 90, get an anthem, get an anthem. So, I mean, I knew there was something there, but I had no idea. I had no idea until we got this thing hooked up and got it calibrated that uh, it just absolutely, it blew away all my expectations. Um, I'm just, I just, it's, it's hard to believe that uh, it can get any better. And uh, with the price of what a trend off is, 20 to 40,000, I don't know exactly. I, I haven't even uh, researched it or anything, but, but with that price range, um, I mean, the trend off should be a uh, hundred fold better than the Anthem. Uh, but from what I've heard, uh, I've heard some Macintosh, I've heard them in, in stores. Uh, I haven't heard them in a home theater. Um, uh, I have not heard a monolith, uh, HTP one. Uh, I think they're good. I've heard the, you know, the Emotiva because I have one. I've had, um, the Arcam here and the Arcam was a good, uh, receiver. Uh, and, and it really was, but the, it night and day difference in the sound from the Arcam to the Anthem, the, the Anthem just, is just absolutely, it absolutely blows the Arcam away. Um, the sonic clarity of this anthem uh, and i and i and that's why i wish i could have i could talk about different movie scenes uh that's what i was doing just explaining what i heard and stuff like that now i mean i got to sit here and, and uh try to re, try to remember uh everything that i said but um the sonic clarity of this thing i played ready player one I, that is my go-to demo from from the start uh, there is so much going on in that race scene. Now, the, now, Ready Player One as a whole, the whole movie sounds good. There's always something passing over your head or, you know, down down on the uh, floor level speakers. Uh, so, I mean, that's my go-to, okay? And um, I just heard things. I heard things that I never heard before with this anthem. Um, there was this, uh, scene in the race scene that, uh, H, you know, he had to, uh, slam on brakes because Kong tore the road down. He had to slam on brakes. He blew out a tire, hit the Batmobile and just the creaking of the suspension on the truck. It never, I, ne I mean, I'm it's always been there and, uh, but it's like, I never heard it. It was, uh, it just stood out and that was just a little fine detail. I was like, that is so cool. And, uh, when, uh, Artemis, you know, you could hear everything going and everything's real loud. And all of a sudden she jumps at the same scene. She jumps, uh, where Kong just tore it down and it goes dead silent. The noise floor of this processor is, is awesome. It is, it is awesome. If there's any kind of, uh, hissing or noise there is coming from from these amps or or these subs and that and that's the thing see i had a problem i had a problem with these these subs uh they had a little bit of a little buzz and stuff like that hey this amp it's gone it is gone um i have so many so many positives uh to this processor so many positives um uh, another scene that I use is um, from The Greatest Showman when they are in the uh, and I wish I could I wish I could be showing it I got some YouTube stuff on here that won't hit me for copyright for this stuff so uh, in in The Greatest Showman uh, when they're in the auditorium and she's singing that song Never Enough I think that's the name of it the her voice and how that was recorded in that auditorium, that theater. Uh, guys, that is a tremendous demo. And it sounds so good. And then with the when when the orchestra or the band or whatever, when they when they start playing their music and those those drums and, and all it's guys, I I challenge you to put that scene in and crank it up. It sounds so good. And the anthem done it to a level that I had never heard before. And uh, another scene that I use uh, is a Bohemian Rhapsody. 
uh, the end of the movie where they're at Live Aid. I, I swear, I thought I was at Live Aid. That's how good this anthem processes that information, gives it to us uh, through the speakers, through the Atmos. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, another scene that I like to use, um, it's, it's, it's not an Atmos or DTSX, uh, but uh, the, I, like, I like Interstellar. Okay, that movie is phenomenal. Uh, I watched it a couple times and a, a long years ago, and I was like, man, this movie's kind of crazy, but I understand what's going on. The movie is, is, is one of my favorite movies. So the scene uh, where I think that's Dr. Mann, is uh trying to um uh, uh he's trying to maroon them and take the ship to finish the mich mission or whatever and he tries to uh uh dock with the with uh with the with the ship and he ends up blowing up the the ship you know getting sucked out into the uh the space and then the ship starts rotating so they have to go go in and try to you know match the speed of the rotation i mean it is a it is a crazy crazy scene um it's crazy uh trying to get that to skip this ad but it'll do it itself i reckon so that scene to me is more uh uh musical score driven and uh, I think it's Hans Zimmer done the, the sound for it. And the musical score in that scene is, is, is intense because there's so much at stake. They have, to get, they have to get back to the ship. But what I like, and this is where Atmos would uh, really uh, benefit on that scene, which I was new, using Neural X, so I'm still getting some height effects, is when they're, when they're going into the ship and, and they get up under it, all the ship that the, the ship is rotating up above them, and all of the stuff is is hitting the roof of their ship or hitting around them, and you can hear that stuff, and it is just a tremendous scene uh, to with all that stuff hitting. I mean, I, I just I love demo in that scene. I love that scene. I love that movie. Um, so that is also a good uh, demo scene. Like I say, it don't you know. <sighs> It, like I say, it's, it's more of musical score driven with uh, the impact and of everything that's going on on the screen. But I love demo in that scene. It's just it's just it's phenomenal, guys. Uh, so that uh, did really good. Uh, another another uh, movie that I use is Lucy, and Lucy is 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 eye candy. The movie looks phenomenal. I mean, the looks of the whole movie it has a very clean picture, very beautiful picture. And but the it's also the musical score and things going on. There's a lot of bass in that movie, uh, and and that movie uh, you got Morgan Freeman standing up, and I could I could hear that man talk all day long. I just I just love his voice. Uh, he was standing uh, giving the the speech at the college, and you actually sounded like you were in that room in that auditorium and stuff. I mean, this anthem has delivered above and beyond every single thing that I have thrown at it. Every single thing. <laughs> it has not failed and has not come in second place to anything that I that I have put in this man. I have watched a crap ton of movies, um uh, demos. I have I have done it all. And I wish I could keep this processor, uh, but I, I can't right now. The economy, uh, and it looks like we might be at war here for long, uh, but the economy, uh, our work, we just, just, it's just not going to happen. I, I don't have the funds to be able to purchase this, but I, 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 it's on my radar, and uh, this will be a next purchase for me for sure because um, I, don't, I don't know of any other processor uh, that I would want other than this anthem. Uh, it, my only, uh, and, and maybe I just hadn't set something up right. And let me, let me see. This is my only, and it ain't even, and it's not even nothing. Uh, so on this remote, um, uh, 
you have your input here. So if you hit input, you see, you have to hit the button, then you have to scroll over. You see what I'm saying? You have to scroll over with this button. Then once you do that, then you hit enter. That's my only little, it's like they don't have a, a set up to where you can just hit like two or three or four. You can't hit, you know, the different inputs. You have to, and you can't cycle through it by hitting input up, down, or just input and cycle through it. You have to hit the, you have to hit the input. You have to cycle through with the other button. Then you have to hit enter. So it's a three-step process. And if I got anything negative to say, that's about as negative it gets. And that ain't even negative. That's just a, a preference. Uh, and I'm sure there might be a, a, a button you can you can set up that stuff. I don't. I hadn't dug that deep into that part of it. But that is that is it. That is the only thing that I have come across that I wish they could change or. And like I say, it's not even an issue. I have played Dolby Atmos movies. Uh, like I said, I don't have anything double vision so I play. I played the IMAX Enhanced DTSX. Guys, I have I have really uh I'm trying to think if I played any music on this thing. Maybe I need to give that a spin. Uh because I did listen to some music in here uh one time before. Uh I think I had my e Matiba hooked up and it sounded pretty good. So I'll give this a spin and we'll talk more about the music. Uh, when I do my final um, review and thoughts of this processor. But I'm telling you guys, I've had this thing for about, I think this is going on the third week now, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm just blown away. I had high expectations, and like I say, it, it is, it has went far above and beyond anything that I uh, could ever imagine a processor would sound in my theater. I'm just, I'm just blown away. I uh, love it. I want it. I want to keep it. I just, I just, it's, it's impossible right now. But I will end up getting a ABM 90 unless they come out with a, a, a newer flagship before I can, you know, purchase this one. Uh, but guys, uh, fantastic. Love, I love the way it looks. It looks good. Uh, I do wish, I mean, this is the screen right here. This is, this is as big as it is right here. It would be cool if it was bigger, but it don't need to be. It don't need to be. But I do like, I do like all this. I mean, it just, it just, it just looks good and it flows so good with uh, all the rest of my equipment. You know, the uh, even the white looking uh, uh, numbers and letters and all that kind of stuff. The display, I mean, it matches the AC Infinity and it really flows in with the rest of the blue lights. You know, this is this is white. So I mean, they, it all it really it just it just blends so much, and then the equipment is the same color as everything. I mean, I just I swear I don't have <laughs> just so many positives to this. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else if I'm leaving out uh, the sound. Like I say, it's got those onboard DACs, digital audio converters, and and I that may be why the the sound of this thing is just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, just, just like I say, I've heard things I've never heard before in movies, and I've watched movies multiple times. Um, it's, it's just crazy how good this thing is. It's, it's crazy. Um, it is. So, guys, that is my performance review of this, uh, and I will definitely have more. Uh, in a couple of weeks, they told me uh, just hold on to the unit and uh, and and enjoy it for a little while. So I was like, yeah, hey, absolutely. I mean, I, I'm I'm good with that. So I don't know how much longer I'm gonna have it, and they'll let me know. So I requested to see if I could get some uh, maybe a, a projector to review, and maybe some speakers and or subwoofers. So we'll see how that goes uh, uh, with anything else. Now I. I want to talk about Seekcraft here for a second before we close this video. They contacted me two months ago. They contacted me because they saw my initial review of this couch that I purchased. And I really like it. I really like it. I, I, could, I could have bought Valencia. I could have. Because there's only just a few hundred dollars difference in the price. I could have bought Valencia. 
but I chose to go a different route because I like being different. I like being different. So I gave an honest review of what I thought about this, and it's good. I mean, I have no issues with this couch. It still works perfectly. I've had it almost a year now. Uh, December will be a year. And uh, it has served me to uh, good capacity. Now, they like my review. I've done two reviews on it. They like my review. They hit me up. They wanted to send me some stuff to review. And I think a, a month ago, I signed an agreement with them, a contract or whatever you want to call it. And that's it. I, I basically hadn't heard anything from them. I don't know what's going on with them. I did hear something from them. I think Friday, Thursday or Friday, the guy that I've been talking with uh, emailed me and uh, something's going on with their boss man. Boss man ain't been to work, can't get him on email, can't get him on phones. <laughs> I mean, I, I hate seeing this stuff. Maybe I ought to delete this out, but, you know, they, they contacted me and they want me to do reviews, but this is where I am. This is where I am. I like being open with you guys and, uh, and letting you know what's going on. So that's the reason why I still don't have uh, their, their products in here. Um, I would love to get a Valencia in. Uh, I mean, maybe I need to purchase a Valencia. And uh, I, I mean, because my plan eventually was to buy Valencia, put this in the living room, had the Valencia in here, and I could do a head to head comparison because they do look similar. Uh, the finish is different and patterns and stuff. But anyway, I just wanted to give y'all guys an update on that. So as that goes, uh, the Rumblewood, I'll have it for about another another week and I have to send it back and I've got to do a few more videos on it I got to get on the ball um, so I got that and I got the ABM 90 and that, that's it for right now I don't I don't have anything else on the books and planned so I'll be probably doing some movie reviews I've been kind of behind uh, the past week or two has been crazy uh, I've got my daughter here uh, I'll have her for three weeks straight, which is freaking awesome, by the way. Her, her mom's actually going out of town. It's gone out of town now. So I got her on my off week. And uh, so I, I got I had her this week. I'll have her next week, which is my off week, then the following week. So, And she normally watches the living room theater, so I may have to bring her. And she likes coming out here and watching. She knows how to work everything. She's smart. My kids, they learn quick how to how to work my stuff and, and they're responsible and, and stuff. So I might have to let her come out here and watch some stuff while I do some more videos on the Rumblewood. So guys, I mean, I'm rambling on, but I'm trying to keep y'all up to date on what's going on in the theater with uh, these manufacturers that's supposed to be sending me stuff. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, this is going to be a long video. Uh, so let's turn this camera and close this thing down. All right, so that's kind of what we got going on. Uh, like I say, I try to be open and honest with you guys and let you know uh, everything that's, uh, that's going on uh, so you'll know. I mean, I, I don't have anything to hide, so I try to just be open and honest about about things. You know, hey, a manufacturer hit me up, I signed a contract, and then nothing. So it is what it is. Uh, so anyway, hey, Valencia, why don't you send me a cap? Go send me a chair. Let me uh let me check them bad boys out. See how good they are. And I know they're good because that's what everybody has. And that's, I've heard nothing but good things about Valencia. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoy what's left of your weekend on this beautiful Sunday morning. Beautiful Sunday morning. It is 40-something degrees here in South Carolina today. Beautiful outside. So I'm letting it warm up a little bit. And I'm going outside to work on my car. I'm doing some upgrading work to my Honda that I got. Uh, I'm doing, putting ground effects kit. I'm going to be putting a steering system in there. I might, uh, might uh, do some videos on that with the with the steering system. I uh, got my buddy. We're going to put 118, or I might even do a Dayton Audio 21 inch sub in the trunks. I don't know. I'll do, some, I'll do some videos on that when I get to that point. So guys, enjoy your weekend. 